Uh oh, side effect time. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 41st episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 246th episode overall titled Little Strongman. We begin this episode with a tiny gun firing, which is horrible because we're at a high school track. Apparently Justin is trying out for the track team and Carlos is helping him stretch. And Carlos explains that he's still a little kid, so maybe chill out. Justin refuses. He then tries shot put and he's terrible because he's a kid. Some teens make fun of him, but Carlos suggests the javelin, and he tries to help Justin, but Justin embarrasses himself again. He gets made fun of again, so they leave. On the space base, Divatox screams for Porto, wanting to know what's going on with the Diva Zord, a new Zord to defeat the Power Rangers. Porto has some work to do. At the youth center, people are working out and training, and Justin is lifting, or at least attempting to, but just as soon as he gets off the bar, he needs Carlos and Cassie there, helping him. They explain that he's not puny or anything, just younger. At the bar, Stone finds ants everywhere. Jesus, dude. He uses a weird little statue that's supposed to scare away ants for a week. That's lame. Then here come Bulk and Skull, who are now exterminators, and they say they heard about the infestation. Wow, word spreads fast here. They will spray their formula, and then they start spritzing the gas near people, and then they claim it's organic, but Stone kicks them out anyways. Carlos asks Justin why this is so important to him, and he explains that he just wants to feel not so different. But then he gets bitten by an ant, but like, he's okay. He just realizes that he's late for tryouts and as he's attempting to leave, he pulls the doors off the handles and he apologizes to Stone, leaving. Meanwhile, Divatox is realigning her chakras before she screams for an update about the Diva Zord. Porto says Elgar is putting the control panel back together and Divatox doesn't want Elgar anywhere near her Zord. Then she meditates again. She got wacky normal and now she's back to wacky. At tryouts, the coach is a little taken aback by Justin being a little kid, but he tells him to go do the long jump anyways. And Justin runs going beyond the entirety of the sand pit. Everyone is super impressed and freaked out and Justin smiles. Justin then tries shot put again and he launches it super far. Carlos and Cassie see this happen and they realize they need to tell Dimitri about this. Meanwhile, Justin pole vaults without a pole. Carlos and Cassie are pretty concerned while everyone carries Justin on their shoulders. He asks Carlos and Cassie if they were watching him and they tell him to calm down that they need to check with Dimitri about it. Cassie says they need to be on the safe side. They go to the power chamber and Carlos claims that this has to be Divatox's scheme, but Justin says it doesn't make sense because she wouldn't want to make him stronger. Then they remember that he got bit by an ant, and then Alpha scans Justin's arm. And he says it wasn't an ordinary ant bite. Oh boy, here we go. Apparently, Justin is 100% stronger than he should be by his body size, just like an ant. So, wait, was this just like a random potent ant? Demetria tells Alpha to run an analysis to make sure there's no dangerous side effects. At the youth center, Carlos finds Ashley, Cassie, and TJ, and he updates them about Justin. At the bar is Justin, by himself, who opens a jar for stone. He then challenges the next person up to arm wrestle, and the others watch as Justin completely destroys this guy in an arm wrestling contest, tossing him onto the ground. Okay, that is exactly what a 12-year-old would do. He goes over to Carlos and the others, and Justin gets yelled at by Carlos because he uses super strength to just show off. Justin says it's easy for him to say because he's great at soccer and TJ's great at baseball. I guess Ashley and Cassie don't do anything. He says that since he's finally good at something and he's going to be on the track team. He asks Carlos if he's jealous of him. Ashley brings up the side effects and then he gets pulled away by some track guys. Divatox is watching this via her periscope with some ice cream because whatever, and she's confused as to why Justin is super strong now. She wants the school of Parantrons to go capture Justin to figure out what happened with him. Justin and the track stars then get jumped by the Parantrons and they run away, leaving Justin behind. Justin then attempts to morph, but it doesn't work. He then just has to defend himself, lifting an entire Parantron up in the air with one hand. This then turns into an embarrassing fight for them as Justin just completely toys with them as he defeats them. They end up carrying one of their own away as the other rangers appear, running over the Justin. He explains that since he's super strong, he can handle those guys pretty easily, but he can't morph anymore. On the space base, everyone is cleaning the place. Ryog then says that Divatox is... Space Taxi has arrived. She is going to get into the Space Taxi to fly to the Diva Zord and it'll lock on top. Porto suggests she test drives the Zord first, but she suggests that he shut up. That was kind of funny. She flies toward her Zord, docking onto it. Also, there's definitely three Zords there. In the power chamber, Demetria explains that Justin can't morph because the strength isn't compatible with his ranger powers. Alpha has an antidote, but Justin wants to be a track star. TJ explains that the ant bite gave him his strength. If he wins stuff, that's not even fair. When he gets older, he can set those records himself with hard work. Then the alarms go off and they see that Divatox is on her way to Earth piloting the Diva Zord. They get ready to go, but Justin looks sad. Then he says, wait, and he takes the antidote running over to the others. Shift in the turbo. The rangers land outside and they see the Diva Zord and she attempts to step on them. They call out their rescue zords, forming the rescue Megazord. The Diva Zord then flies around, firing at the rescue Megazord before it grabs it, flying away with it through the mountains in a great use of toys. She then lets them go, tossing them into the mountain. She fires more at them and the rangers are down. Then the Diva Zord starts spinning out of control. Seriously, what the hell? 
is just firing lasers while Divatox spins around freaking out. And it just suddenly stops and she almost pukes. The Divazord then just takes off, leaving into the sky. Divatox lands in space and she screams for Porto, yelling at him for the Zord being defective. Porto blames Elgar and she says next time they have to test drive a Zord, Porto will be in the driver's seat. Also, she almost pukes. Again. At the track, Justin is sitting in the bleachers. Carlos comes over apologizing for Justin having to lose his strength. The others come over and they tell him how he made the right choice, and Justin agrees since being a Power Ranger helps everyone. Then some guy comes over and Justin explains how to toss a javelin to get a better trajectory and distance. He leaves and Justin explains he's actually still on the team as technical advisor. The end. So that ant had nothing to do with Divatox. Like it just happened and you expect Divatox to be like, haha, my plan is working. But even she is like, the hell is this? Other than that uh, giant plot hole, this episode's actually pretty enjoyable. I expected it to be a lot worse than it was. The second half of Turbo has done wonders for Justin and I actually enjoy a lot of focus episodes for him now. This is no different because it was kind of realistic. I mean, a 12 year old with 100% tried to abuse all that power, and I mean, he was kind of flirting with this way back in Alarmed and Dangerous. It's kind of nice to see Justin's Napoleon complex rounded out a bit. Next time, we get a strange plot for Power Rangers, but until then, may the power protect you.